So, after quite some time I have been working with YouTube and other things, I decided to take my chance and develop a new game of mine. After playing Rogue Legacy and Hades, which I'm still playing to this day and watching tutorials on different algorithms, I was really inspired to make my own roguelike game. I ended up deciding to participate in Huawei Jam 3.0. Funnily enough, at first I didn't really check the given time and thought it was a week long or something like that. It turned out the jam was just 3 full days and it seemed to me like I have a too big idea for such a short term. But a man must take risks and I chose to give it a shot no matter what. And here is a story about failing by gaining. So, prior to developing the game on the Jam Team announcement, I already wrote a game design document with the big idea of my game. There I designed different systems, like weapons, enemies, levels and more. It surely would be a giant mistake to try to implement all of it in just 3 days as a solo developer. But a completed idea won't harm anyone. I thought that if I need to rescope the thing, I will do that. Maybe even completely change the idea so I would fit the given term. Luckily enough, the theme of the gem was failure is progress. And if roguelike games doesn't correspond to this idea, then what does? That was what came to my mind, so I stuck with the idea. Immediately, I set up a projects page in my Notion, wrote a new game design document with the main features described and started doing some basic work like setting up the project, making level scenes, setting the project setting, etc. etc. Day first was mainly about giving it a nice start. Day second and third. The first days of developing were not super worthy of showing. I mean, there were for sure a lot of times when I felt proud of some system I just implemented, but without most of the other content it wasn't something much. Instead, I'm going to tell you about the three most complex features I was implementing in the game. So the first challenge was procedural generation. A couple of months ago, I picked up Hardbeast's vocal procedural generation tutorial series and went through it in just 3 days. Before I learned this algorithm, I felt quite miserable because I thought every quote-unquote good programmer must know such things, and I didn't. Fortunately now I know. The system in the game doesn't differ from the original presented by Hardbeast. The only exception is that I worked more on it and made it support monster and treasure chest generation. However, currently there are no chests in game. Pathfinding algorithm. This also was a small challenge for me, as prior to this project there was only one time when I implemented pathfinding. The algorithm is based on using the navigation 2D node in Godot and by making the floor tile considered traversable in tilemap settings. So, here the problem was that I actually had a working system, but for some reason the path from the enemy to the player just wouldn't generate. Long story short, I was struggling with this one bug for about 40 or 50 minutes until Cody, thanks Cody, replied to me and suggested what could be wrong. Turned out that it was simply that the tile map must be the child of navigation 2D. And that was the solution, just two clicks away. Feedback. I want to say that I myself started to enjoy the game only on the last day when I started adding polish to it. I'm surely not the one to judge my own products, but it is a very rewarding feeling when you know you work hard and you know that the work came out well. 
unexpectedly well. I didn't expect much positive feedback on my game. <laughs> Tell you what, I was surprised when people said they actually liked it, telling me they were passing their time in the game with joy, beating 20 plus levels and exploring the randomly generated dungeon just for the sake of exploring. It was amazing to hear even about how people liked the generation. Somebody even asked me to make a whole game out of it. Incredible to hear such things when you are just a small indie dev without much recognition. And it's not false modesty, I really did not think my game would be liked that much by anybody. If you want to play the game, I left a link to it in the description. I would really appreciate it if you also rated the game, left a comment and shared it with your friends. If I hear more feedback, I might consider making a full-size game out of it. But first, I need to hear more opinions. For sure, currently there are things that can be improved in the game. However, it seems to me like a great step on my game development journey. To be honest, I can't believe I developed this game in 3 days. I have never thought of myself as about a programmer that can implement such things in games in just a couple of days. That's it! I hope the video was insightful and you liked it. And if it was, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, because there is more to come. Until next time.